Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 25 here on the Frozen Rock. Uh, I've been doing a little uh, just kind of maintenance uh, type stuff here, uh, but I did make a couple of changes, or I, I've added a few things. So let's start over here. The main thing I've done was I've added some lights, and then I adjusted the entryway down through here so we're coming down I always had that little jag in there where I had to come over and then come back well now I can just come down straight down turn around and come back up that's a lot better probably a lot better on you guys watching as well I'm sure I also put a couple of lights down here so ultimately I'm going to be expanding this out and so I kind of added a little bit more over here. I put the light in. That makes it a little bit better. Uh, so uh, it's not in the dark down here. So I put a couple of lights in down here. So that's what we've got down here. And ultimately, I need to hook this in to the base. And I'm thinking about running a tunnel from here over to the base. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see how that kind of turns out. But that's kind of just some for future plans. The other thing I was thinking about, of course, one of the things we've got to find is titanium so that we can make the uh, steam boilers. But we've got coal right off over there, and I keep saying I'm going to put a coal plant in. And so my thought is I will build a coal production facility over there it's only what uh, basically a kilometer away and then I can get it set up uh, maybe with a mining automated mining rig uh, the coal fired plants we can set up some coal firing facilities power facilities and then I can run those and connect those into the base using my power lines right so that wouldn't be too difficult to set that up over there and then add power to the base, which I think will be really, really good. Uh, so what else have I done? Well, again, I added, uh, I added another light here in the middle of the base so it's not so dark when I'm running around. I added a light over here, which... Uh, makes uh, kind of lights up this corner of the base so that helps I also have added a light over here actually I added a couple of lights I added one over here which uh, adds light into this area and then I've added a light in here now the other thing I've done is I've actually completed two of these acid batteries which if we look at them we can see that this one is uh, basically fully charged and that uh, uh, it's got uh, 1.5 uh, megawatts of uh, power stored so it's got uh, uh, a six uh, uh, milliwatt output, which will help. So for those peak power surges, when I've got all of the facilities, uh, all of the production uh, plants running at the same time, it's going to help uh, supplement that power, and I shouldn't get those... Uh, uh, power surges that you hear from the machines. So we've got that in. I'm steadily working to fully get this a full bank in. I'd rather have had lithium batteries, but we haven't even found lithium yet. Uh, once we get to that, then I'll leave these in. I won't uh, destroy them, uh, but I will add a lithium power base uh, battery plant which will really make a lot of difference. Today, I want to finish getting this, this second hydrogen engine into place. And so that's one of the things I'm going to be working on. 
Uh, I also want to uh, start... Uh, I need to find titanium. I absolutely need to find titanium because uh, I need it to build the steam, the coal steam power, plus I'm going to need it for, like, I think this ore purifier. Uh, the other thing I want to do is get my advanced assembler built, which is going to go right here. And I've kind of been kind of looking at it. Let me uh, bring this up a little bit right here. Uh, so this is the advanced assembler, and I think it'll fit nicely right here. Uh, it's got two ports on it. Uh, let's spin it around. So it's got a port there and a port there. So if I put that port right there, then all I need to do is actually take... Just a second here. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, one. So all I would have to do is actually put in a T right here. And so it'll be completely plumbed into the, the system. And I think that'll be a good spot for the advanced assembler. So that's kind of the plans. And I think that advanced assembler, well, it takes... Uh, what did it take? Uh, let me bring it back up again. Seven. So it takes uh, advanced computers, basic computers, uh, gold wire, metal grids, motors, uh, aluminum, and we can make all of that. So I'm going to have to make a run for more gold uh, so that uh, we can produce the gold wire. And uh, we can then get this put in place which then should be able to give me the parts I need to finish the ore purifier so we are steadily getting this uh, base uh, uh, leveled up and that's that's kind of what today's project is so I need to what I need to do I think I'm going to put another uh, LCD panel in right next to here and then I can kind of uh, add some additional tasks to do and then either that or maybe what I do is move over the completed tasks I'm not sure uh, but as you can see we have already kind of run out of there so I think let me get started working on a lot of this stuff you know we've got some stuff to do and let me see how much of I can get done today. I'm not going to get it all done today, that's for darn sure, but uh, certainly some things that I need to get finished. So, I will catch back up with you in just a little bit. Alright, I am back. I got uh, a... Uh, I got the hydrogen engine in and that all set up. There's the uh, hydrogen tank, the O2 uh, processor, O2 H2 generator, and then the uh, small cargo container. And I got both of them filled up with ice. And I did get another battery built. So we have that battery in place. So it should be uh, storing power and uh, this one is uh, looks like it is pretty well uh, fully charged they only charge up to three quarters uh, unlike the lithium power battery which ultimately is what I want to put in I think the next task is I need to try to go get back to that gold rock and mine and get some more gold in here so that I can produce gold wires because I want to get that uh, advanced assembler up so I just wanted to kind of give you an update that's where we are at right now and once I 
get back from getting the gold, I will uh, give you another update. Okay, I am back from getting the gold and I was able to get our advanced assembler in place. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so what this does, this gives us now the ability to make laser emitters, uh, our lithium power cell, although we need uh, lithium paste for that. Uh, we can now make our reactor components and <coughs> superconducting elect <coughs> excuse me uh, electromagnetic which I'm pretty sure is going to be needed in the reactors and stuff like that and this uh, blanket plate which I believe we need for advanced uh, uh, thrusters and stuff like that so that is going to help us really kind of advance I think one of the things I probably haven't mentioned is hopefully what I wanted to get out of season two or for season one is to get to the point of getting to space and then I'll probably start season two uh, heading towards space and building up and ultimately what I wanted to do was be able to acquire all the different ores and have made all the different uh, production facilities or production plants for this and then yeah, I think it might be time to start a new a new series but uh, we still got a long ways to go on this one and uh, but the plant has come a long ways from when we first arrived with an upside down uh, uh, respawn whatever you want to call it uh, pod also I think it's high time to ceremoniously remove the assembling bench. It is basically just in the way and we don't need it for anything more. So with that let's uh, let's take this thing out. And it's gone. There we go. Alright that opens up space right there and uh, really kind of gives us an opportunity to kind of start expanding the base out that away. So let's get these uh, parts in here. They can be ground up. So one of the things I wanted to get done was get an advanced assembler, also get an LCD uh, set up. And I haven't done that yet. And I need to add the advanced assembler to the checklist that's completion. So why don't you give me a few more minutes and I will get another LCD panel set up and we can start putting some more uh, tasks to do on there. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Well, as you can see, it looks like I did a big boo-boo. I uh, pasted when I should have copied. I was going to copy the information over to the other LCD screen but I ended up deleting it all so I am going to have to go back and look at one of my old videos and, and get my list back and then rebuild these so I will have those updated for the next episode in the meantime I did build another battery up uh, on the up at the power station so these are slowly getting that uh, battery bank uh, built it uh, as you can see we've got five of them in and we only have five more to go <clears throat> the problem is it takes so long to build these 
<clears throat> acid power cells that uh, as uh, I get other things done and then I remember uh, I can build one of these because another hundred will be built so I'm slowly getting these in place now next uh, the next thing I need to do is well I need to hunt down some titanium for one thing that uh, uh, that's not where I want to go uh, I need the titanium for the the coal plant and I'd really like to get started on it and actually what we can do is well no actually I will uh, kind of I've got to kind of lay that out I think what I want to do for the coal plant is have a large cargo container set up with a drilling rig that is going to pull in the coal and if I remember correctly you know what I need to charge up we might as well just drive over there and we can reduce that let's hop in there and we'll just take a little drive It's only a kilometer over there. We'll get turned around here. Try not to run into anything. So I'm thinking I can put power poles to connect it, which shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, but I wanted to see how deep it is, the coal. Coal shouldn't be very deep. It shouldn't be much more than 20, 20 or 30 feet deep or meters deep. So we'll get over here. And I should have a hole in the ground already. I do. So what my thought is I will go down into here. What deep is the coal anyway? Let's see. Ah, uh, it's 47 meters, which isn't too bad actually. So my thought is we'll get down and into here. I will. What I'll do is hollow this out. And I want to put a piston uh, system in here and then I can have a facility set up up here someplace and I might actually even see if I can't walk around and get the coal down a little see if there isn't a little closer uh, but set up this is a pretty pretty nice flat area right in here so I should be able to put my coal generators up here my steam generators and have piping up to that uh, from the mining down below so I think that's one of the things that we I want to try to do but first I've got to get titanium so I just wanted to kind of see how deep it was uh, looks like it's about 48 meters to well about 50 meters deep so that shouldn't be too awful bad we're already drilled down into there so let's head back to the base and we'll be able to see you can see the base pretty clearly from here so that's not going to be too bad at all actually and then I can just run power poles over there 
So, that's going to be a project, and I think with the sun coming up, it might be time to see if we can't do a little more scouting to see if maybe by chance we can find another ore. We've got to find lithium, uh, gold and silver, and uh, titanium. We really need to get that titanium because that's really the next real ore we need to get. The other thing we got to do is we're going to have to go we've got to get some other mining operations going for like the niter and the oil sand. I don't want to just be running over there. I'd like to kind of set up uh, some sort of operation to be able to, to mine those out. So we still got a lot of work to do around here. And why don't I... Well, first off, I need to connect this. Let's uh, connect this back up. There we go. That's connected. All right. Well, let's see if we can... T with the sun coming up, that's perfect timing. Let's see if we can... Uh, get lucky enough, like we did last time, uh, to see if we can find some titanium. And we found the niter over there, I think, with the oil sand out that direction. Uh, I am going to kind of head off in that direction, and but then start heading, uh, I guess that would be bore to the west, northwest, something like that. Well, let's see if we can get this up in the air again. All right, that's the batteries are already on auto. Uh, let's unlock the landing gear, turn the hydrogen tanks on, and there we go. All right, we are up and flying. Probably should turn on, turn on the ore detector. All right, that's where our oil sand is. I'm thinking there's got to be some more stuff up into these hills that I somehow just probably missed them. So let's kind of get a little closer to the ground and see if there's something we can find. So we know that there was cobalt up here. What if we go up... through this gap. Alright, lots of ice, always lots of ice. we can get lucky here. Let's see if we can't level out a little bit. See, oh, sulfur. We probably should mark that. I'm 
not sure how much we really need it. But let's get down here and find... Alright. Let's mark the sulfur. New current. Sulfur? Oh, I'm forgetting my... System. Sulfur field. Okay. Alright, back up. Well, we did find... Something more. Let's level out here. There we go, that's a little better. I knew that, yeah, that's that cobalt field. Come on, something good, something good. Can't believe we haven't come across at least gold or silver for crying out loud. I think that was still that cobalt. Coal. Well, we got plenty of coal. Oh, silver. Well, that's that's good. Well, let's come down and mark that. Alright. 
And that should... I'm just checking something. I'm seeing if my tanks... My tanks should be filling up. And... They are. We're down to 55% on our hydrogen in our tanks. But I've got a lot of ice loaded on. So it should be... So... I'd probably, if I turn these off for a minute. Yeah, that's going to start uh, building those back up. So let's uh, turn those back on. And then we can start figuring out where in the hell we're at right at the moment. Right, there's that's the ice lake so yeah I know where I'm at okay so I know that there was some iron fields and stuff over here maybe what we need to do is Head back over this direction. Because we had that niter field. I still just think there's got to be more out here in this flat. Besides ice. Watching my hydrogen. easy to get to. Oh, come on. Come on. There's got to be some more stuff up and in here. I'm going to have to start uh, heading back to base here pretty quick. Silicon. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I've already got that mark somewhere else. start heading back to base. going to set down right here and let my tanks refill. 
so that we can maybe do a little more exploring. So, let me do this. Let me turn the engines off. Let my hydrogen start filling back up. And I'll catch back up with you as I am getting back towards base uh, and let you know if I find anything else. All right. Talk to you in a little bit. Well, I am just coming back into the base. Uh, you can see my hydrogen's getting low, but we should be pretty, we're good. Cause I still got ice in the tank. So we'll just get set down here. Let's start coming down. I did not find anything more. So we found the sulfur and the silver. Now I know what I need silver for, which we can actually maybe start thinking about a full-blown medical facility. And we got the sulfur, which I think I'm able to get sulfur out of oil sand. I'm not sure what else that I need the sulfur for. I'm going to have to do some research on that. All right, so we are set down. Let's turn the engines off. Let's uh, lock those in. And let's set uh, tanks to stockpile. And you can see that they're filling up. I'm going to have to mine some more ice so I can do that. What I might do is move the ship over, but I'll do that later. Uh, all right, let me hop out of here and get this hooked up. Oop. Uh, that's what I want. There we go. All right. Well, I actually think we are at a pretty good stopping point. We did find... So that's the oil sand. I need to do some... Usually there's lithium up around the oil sand. We found the sulfur, which is 3.76 miles away. And where is that silver at? And the silver is 7.8 miles away. I was kind of hoping we might find something else along not far from that silver, but we made some progress today. So let's, I got lights on the base. Uh, I got, uh, well, I screwed that up, and I'll, I'll get that uh, cleaned up. We got an advanced assembler in place. I finished the hydrogen engines up there, and I got uh, some more acid batteries built. So, we're making some progress on it. I think with that, though, we're going to call it pretty good right here. Uh, next uh, mission, or next the next day, I'll have that cleaned up. And I'll have some ideas on <clears throat> how I want to go about uh, with the coal plant and maybe figuring out some way to go and get some of those other materials that we just identified. So with that, space engineers keep building a way out there. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. And please hit the thumbs up on the video. It helps the video out a lot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.